The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the features of a very capable and good looking cruising yacht, the Swift 44. This is a yacht that's made under the umbrella of the Beneteau Group, and the design team at Beneteau tell me that they made the 44 to replace the popular 42. Let's see how they've done with the features walkthrough, starting in the aft cockpit. You can board the 44 from either the side bulwarks door or here in the aft cockpit. This cockpit makes a great gathering area due to its size. The teak decking and rails are unfinished wood for low maintenance. Seating offers more storage underneath, and all these seats are removable by pulling a pin inside. The table from the salon also accommodates these seats. An extended overhead is 6 feet 8 inches high and adds to the utility of the aft deck as well as the boat deck above. A full enclosure is optional and secures to a channel inside the overhang to keep water out of the rolled up curtains. In the deck are two storage lockers, one of which houses the optional generator, and notice how the hatches have gutters with big drains that the deck drains feed into, and then overboard. The cockpit gate leads to the swim platform which measures 11 feet 2 inches by 3 feet 3 inches and is 12 inches lower than the cockpit deck. A swim ladder is to starboard and storage to port. To starboard are the stairs to the flybridge and underneath is storage for the propane tank which keeps the hazardous materials out of the galley. Once above, to starboard is an entertainment center with a sink and space for an optional grill. Below is additional storage space that is large enough to house a carry-on cooler and to the left is an optional refrigerator. To starboard is a chaise lounge with storage underneath and excuse the lack of cushions but we were testing on a rainy day. All the seating opposes an L-shaped settee to port that wraps around a table. A center-mounted helm lies just ahead, so the captain remains a central figure to the conversation. An 11-foot-long boat deck lies after the mast with a winch for launching the tender. With the space open, it's easy to picture adding deck chairs and loungers for getting some sun. Off to the side is a space for a life raft. Let's look at the features on the main deck. A set of triple sliding glass doors opens to either side for a double-wide entrance to the salon or it locks in the center position. A pull-out screen allows for protection without letting every bug in the anchorage on board. The salon offers a comfortable arrangement of a sofa to starboard, a movable pedestal table centered in the deck, and storage to port. The cabinets house the ship's electrical panel with space below for an optional TV. Below that are generator controls, air conditioning condenser, and storage. Windows are quite large and low enough to allow for visibility to the horizon from the seated position, and they all open. The sofa is probably the easiest I've seen to convert to a double berth, and when open, there are still seats to either side of the berth. A curtain provides privacy in conjunction with the aft curtains and window blinds. A grab rail runs along the overhead, and headroom is 6 feet 6 inches, which continues all the way to the forward windshield. The U-shaped galley is just ahead of the salon and directly to port of the helm. It features Corian counters, a double basin stainless sink, a three-burner stove, and a gas oven which can be swapped out for a microwave. Side windows are opening. The 130-liter refrigerator lies just under the helm seat. The helm seat tips forward to add to the serving room when cooking large meals. It's a clever way to increase the useful space when not underway. In the operational position, the seat is double wide, a convenient factor as there are no seats to port of the galley. Let's head below and take a look at the accommodations. Right in the steps, you'll find storage and the fuel shutoffs and fire extinguisher handles. At the bottom of the stairs, there's a day head just to starboard. It also serves as a wet head, and it's very clever that it's connected to the master head by a frosted glass door. This allows the day head to be used as a shower, while the master head remains usable for another person, perhaps in the case of two people getting ready for a night on the town at the same time. If needed, the master also serves as a wet head with a pull-out sprayer. Notice the mirrors have lights embedded into them. Both heads have opening port lights and 6 feet 6 inches of headroom. The master ensuite head has an opening overhead hatch and a drawer under the medicine cabinet that is self-closing. As we move to the master, it's not hard to notice the high 6 foot 7 inches of overhead space, a recurring theme throughout the 44. Beautiful woodwork is all around. As I enter the stateroom, here's another example of how Swift does things right. The light switch is right inside the door. Usually, I'm searching for the switch. This stateroom has an island double berth measuring 6 feet 9 inches by 5 foot 3 inches. Storage lockers are to the sides and have hanging space and shelves with lighting connected to a micro switch. An overhead hatch, hull side windows and opening port lights add ventilation and natural light. Additional storage is found underneath the berth as well as access to the air conditioning pump. A hatch in the deck accesses the bow thruster and its dedicated batteries. Moving to the guest stateroom, we have another double berth 
6 foot 7 inches by 4 feet 9 inches, the normal accommodations for storage, plus hull side windows with opening port lights. In my opinion, the team at Beneteau hit their mark in designing this 44 as a cruising couple's boat. It has comfortable accommodations and it's easily handled and docked by a single person if necessary. But that's another video. For now, that's our look at the features of the Swift 44. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.